It's his morning crew on his radio, Rob, Allison, and Jim. Okay, now you put an agnostic Egyptologist and a biblical historian together. It sounds like you're getting ready to say a joke, but no, that happens to be the great Exodus debate. And Michael Rood is along with us this morning with this big event that's going on this Sunday in Charlotte. Uh, that's right. Uh, very excited to be with you, Rob. And uh, the Egyptologist uh, just got in uh, to Charlotte last night. Uh, very excited about this confrontation that is going to be transpiring uh, this week and uh, on Sunday at the Renaissance Charlotte Suites Hotel. And uh, this should be a very exciting debate, uh, uh, especially since there are so many Christian professors and Jewish rabbis claiming that the Exodus, Exodus never took place. In fact, uh, the Department of Antiquities, the director, uh, refused to look at the evidence that is now being smuggled out of Arabia because he said that uh, Mount Sinai and the Exodus is just a literary invention and uh, there is no truth to it. Well, I'm going to be presenting a completely different perspective on this, and uh, we are inviting the entire Christian community to come out and support this and to see the latest that the breaking news that is coming out of not only Egypt, but also uh, Arabia, the ancient land of Midian, where Moses was a Midianite shepherd for 40 years. You're very passionate about this, Michael. Why did you, or how did I, should I say, did you get involved in studying something like this? Uh, well, this uh, this has been my life. I actually live in Israel. I've lived in Israel for the last 20 years. I've uh, lived in Jerusalem for 10 years, up in the Galilee for another 12. And uh, the the land of the Bible is really is really real. People uh, here in America are. are 2,000 years and 8,000 miles removed from the reality, but uh, the very places that are stipulated in the Bible, we go down to those places and sit in coffee shops today on the very same street that David's mighty men went over to Bethlehem to get him a drink of water. You know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it, the places are the same. It's just that we have to put this out in front of the believers so that they can touch the reality of the Bible. They can smell it. They can touch it. Touch it they can see it. So matter, I know matter of fact, I, I have right in my hands here, I have a piece of brimstone uh, that, that uh, recovered from the city of Gomorrah. Uh, mm. It's 95.72% pure sulfur, three of the trace metals. Uh, this literally rained down out of heaven. If we light it, it'll melt right through the windshield of a car today, 4,000 years later. Oh, this stuff crazy. is reality. Hmm. That's incredible. I know, you know, one of the things, the main issues is that they say there's no archaeological evidence. And you kind of alluded to the fact that there's been some recent discoveries. One of them I was looking at was that they found an Egyptian chariot cavalry at the bottom of the Red Sea. Uh, that's right. That? One of the most exciting things, they found the Egyptian army scattered for a mile and a half on the bottom of the Yam Suf in Hebrew or the Red Sea. We've got it on video. I'm going to be showing that evidence. It's absolutely chilling uh, to, to see that reality. They were looking in the wrong place for it because Constantine's mother picked out the wrong place for Mount Sinai. So nobody looked in the right place until just recently. Now we've got it. Michael wow. Rood is from the Great Exodus Debate that's going on in Charlotte this Sunday. You can see hisradio.com for more details about that. How did you develop a relationship with an agnostic Egyptologist? Well, it was uh, David Roll that, that uh, really broke a very big uh, situation. As an Egyptologist, he was the one that, that broke a, a code where they put the wrong chronology to the Bible and to, to Egyptian history because uh, 100 years ago, they misread the, uh, the hieroglyphs at the temple at Karnak. And so that is why they're saying that the exodus didn't happen because they say that that Jericho was destroyed mm. at the time that Israel was supposedly coming out of Egypt. But what happened is they got their chronology wrong. And this is my particular field, biblical chronology. I wrote the chronological gospels. It was a 40 year piece of, of research. And so chronology is my thing. But David Roll was the one that cracked the code because you know, this has been his life. Uh, Seven years of age, he was writing the names of Egyptian kings in uh, uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs uh, in order uh, back in the, the, the middle dark period. So, you know, the, the, the man is absolutely brilliant, but we're going to go to task on some things. And uh, they tell me that no guns or knives are, are allowed at the debate. <laughs> well, that's so. good. That's good. Uh, I, 
I think this sounds, I mean, you sound like a fascinating person and we could probably talk for hours, but what do you hope people get out of the Exodus debate? Well, I believe what they're going to get out, they are going to see the evidence that the Bible is an accurate record of the land, the people of which it speaks, and that that history, uh, the history of the Bible is accurate. It is not a fairy tale, it's not something that's made up, and so when we get the chronology right, everything is there, everything is in order, and one of the things that David Roll is going to bring out recently, the tomb of Joseph has been found in Egypt. Mm. And they are going to see it. He has the the, the photographs of this. Uh, this is absolutely chilling. So there has been some changes in his perspective as well that uh, that we're going to see because uh, all of a sudden science is chipping away, finally chipping away, and we're finding that the Bible is real. If we have true science, not something made up, not uh, not facts that are collected to try to disparage the scripture, but when we line up history, we line up science. Everything is fitting, especially in the Exodus. Fascinating. It's the great Exodus debate. Michael Rood been along with us this morning. Renaissance Charlotte Suites Hotel that's going on this Sunday. It is free, but you do need a ticket to get in, a free ticket to get in. Go to hisradio.com. We'll hook you up that way. That's at hisradio.com. Michael Rood, thank you so much for the time this morning. It's been a pleasure, Rob. It's been a pleasure, Allison. Thank you.